Whether it's emergency relief due to natural disasters or humanitarian aid in war-torn regions, there are situations where international organizations, first responders, and military personnel need to collaborate effectively on teams in stressful situations. Researchers at Northwestern University and the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign will use the Multi-Team System Simulation, or MTS, platform to gain insight on how networks of people, information, and technology can be configured to better allow small teams to coordinate in such high-pressure situations. Using the MTS platform, the Sonic Lab at Northwestern University is investigating the integrated effects of cognitive or social networks information networks, and communication networks on team performance. For our initial study in spring 2011, we will examine specifically the effects of trust networks and communication networks on multi-team performance. In our experiment, two teams of two will work together to complete a mission using the MTS platform. The platform simulates a military command and control situation in which teams are tasked with escorting a humanitarian convoy through a dangerous military region. In addition to guiding the convoy safely, each team must share information and coordinate movements in order to discover and neutralize enemy insurgents and improvised explosive devices, or IEDs. Participants go through training in which they're taught how to use the MTS platform. Additionally, during this stage, each participant is assigned a specialized role as part of the task force and taught the rules of engagement attached to that role. Participants take on the roles of Task Force Delta, consisting of two teams. One team, designated Phantom, specializes in counterinsurgency, while the other team, designated Stinger, specializes in IED disarmament. On each of these teams, one participant is assigned to reconnaissance, while the other is assigned to threat neutralization. Task Force members must share information between teams cooperatively in order to complete the mission. There are two stages to the experiment. The first stage is a 20-minute practice mission, which acts as an experimental control. During this stage, trust between participants is neutral, and all members of the task force can communicate directly via text or voice to share information. The second stage is a 60-minute real mission. During both missions, text and audio data is collected in real time while participants communicate as a team to complete their goals. Between the practice and real mission, experimenters can manipulate team conditions along two dimensions, communication pathways and trust. The communication pathways are manipulated directly by limiting the number of teammates that participants can reach by text or voice. In the full communication condition, all members of the task force have a fully connected communication network. In the chain communication condition, team members can speak to each other, but only the recon officers can share information between teams. Trust is manipulated via scripted feedback. After the practice mission, the participants are either informed that everyone is performing as expected or that fellow task force members are performing below expectation. We can thus create four unique experimental conditions, one of diminished trust and chain communication, one of full trust and chain communication, one of diminished trust and full communication, and one of full trust and full communication. We expect these manipulations of network conditions to directly affect team performance, measured by how well the teams protect the convoy and identify and neutralize enemy insurgents and IEDs. In particular, the MTS initial hypotheses are 1. Teams with high levels of trust will be more effective than teams with low levels of trust. 2. Teams using the completely connected communication network will be more effective than teams using the chain communication network. And 3. The effect of changing communication connections will be stronger than the effect of changing trust, resulting in a specific order of overall effectiveness. Most effective is a high trust, completely connected condition. Next, low trust, completely connected. Then, high trust, chain connected. And least effective is a low trust, chain connected condition. Data on individual and team performance will automatically be collected throughout the experiment. In addition, participants will complete a number of surveys at the beginning, middle, and end of the study to measure a variety of individual and interpersonal variables including trust, leadership, teamwork, and shared mental models. 
At the Sonic Lab, we will analyze data using advanced network analytic techniques to test our hypotheses and how the results will impact decision making when configuring teams in emergency situations. If the MTS pilot tests show that this experimental methodology is effective for studying how changes in network parameters affect overall mission performance, it can be used for more complex future experiments. Larger teams, more complex organizational hierarchies, unreliable communications, different information sources, and many other network variables could be tested. The results of these types of experiments can be used to improve mission performance when people rely on complex composite networks.